Hey guys, it's Chris from Tryhard Affinity with the second part. And if you're wondering why we're on a title screen, it's because I am a complete idiot. So basically, I ended up saving over my first save of the Egyptians, so <laughs> yeah, maybe I should try to start doing these in one record, because if you're wondering why I usually do parts, it's because normally, either I, like, I might do part, you know, part of game, and, you know, just keep going back on a save, and go back, and play it again, and come back, and then keep recording the parts, if I don't have enough time to record all at once, or I'll just do one big record, and just, you know, the editing takes so long and I might be like trying to get it out really fast so I'll just edit, I'll edit out as small amounts and just you know upload it but for now we'll start over I mean it's not like it's gonna kill us to start over so like I said with this, the Egyptians in the beginning you want to go for desert spots as well this right here is a desert spot and this would be a decent start but I think there's three desert spots right up there so that will be extremely nice this will be magnific magnific no i can't even say the word magnificent <laughs> all right here we go so we're gonna go ahead and beautiful mm, look at that a colossus i actually like this this is great that we you know started over like this is amazing because normally you know i was gonna have to work with the oracle kind of boxed in but now it's like the game sees that that was stupid and they're, they're repenting for their sins, you know, and giving me such a great thing. So normally, if you get something like this, a Colossus or a Hanging Gardens, you should be able to do a Super City. Because I was going to say in the other one that I might not be able to do a Super City, but after seeing this, a Super City is definitely possible. So we're going to go for Pottery right off the back, I believe. No, we're not going to go for Pottery. Okay. I was going to say for, go for Pottery, like, if uh, you have some granaries, but I do not have that. So we're just going to go straight for Alphabet. We're going to make our Super City. We need to go ahead and get that Super City working. And once we get that super city up and running, we can make every other city for gold. No other cities need to be for science, so it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. So we're gonna, just, you know, use this guy right here to explore as much as we can. And like I said, it's a great tactic to do if you're playing against a computer. It doesn't work online, I don't think. I'm correct. I'm correct. It doesn't work online. If you settle a city right by a um, bar camp, it does not give you a militia. Just a side note. All right, we got our 30 pieces of gold. They showed us that one over there. And we just got this. Hopefully, it gives us an alphabet, and it gives us a caravan. Gives us a caravan, but uh, oh well, better than nothing. We can use this to. Well, what am I saying? A caravan's bad for. I'm just talking about a caravan like it sucks. <laughs> it's like really, really, you're, you're acting like a caravan is awful. You just got something really decent. Come on. But we're gonna try to get over here really fast, and we have a lot to cover, a lot of ground to try to cover. So we'll do this the best way we can. Ugh. They're gonna get our stuff. We found the herbs. Um, let's see, maybe we can war them next turn when I get another warrior and they might submit. And also their troops will be a little injured. So let's see how we can go about that real quick. They got a caravan. Actually, let's try to swipe their caravan. What am I saying? War them. That'd be very stupid. Let's go ahead and swipe that. If we can get that, that'll be nice. Um, got to try to plan a swipe he can move probably he's gonna probably go one two three and if he does that then I can swipe so I think because if he goes this way if he goes one two three this way I cannot swipe him so well I can if I insta build but I'm gonna try to go off he's that he's going the other way so I'm uh I'm gonna move in this direction and I'll take this guy and move him down. Well, automatic move. I'm going to take that off. That kind of screws you over sometimes. So watch out with automatic moves. They really do tend to screw you over a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and back off and go ahead and get our science. We could get a population boost because this place is going to use population. Either one, but let's go ahead and get our eight science first. And then by the time we get it, we should be able to insta build. Yep. He did what exactly what I was hoping he would do. So we're going to go ahead and swipe that. 
and this is what you want to do when you're going for a gold style victory you really want to pay attention to everything that you can take every advantage you can get and every thing you can cap oh god he don't want to give us peace <laughs> anything you can capitalize on though right now i don't think he was too happy about that swipe but we're pretty happy about that and that's all that matters so we'll go ahead and be happy with our swipe and just pay attention for if he comes We'll take this guy and leave him close by. How about that, actually? And we'll, and with this um, caravan, I'll actually send him downwards. Oh, automatic moves for you. They put me right by the barb camp. <sighs> I hate automatic moves. At least we didn't get swiped. And the, we got two bar camps here. And as I said, with rivers, they're literally... Yeah, I cannot talk right now. It's kind of late. But with rivers, they're the best thing to be able to name. So keep that in mind. When it comes to naming things, rivers are the best and easiest thing to like figure out how to name. Because you like, pretty much a river is always going to be as it is a river. You know, you walk right here, you can walk right here, right here, right here, right here, or possibly there, and you might get a name for this river. Say for all the other rivers, that's why it's the easiest thing to name. It's easy to pinpoint and figure out what you want to do to name it. So you can already see with the colossus how. This is working out wonderful. This is going to work out beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and go for pottery to try to get up to irrigation. But let's see how we're going to do this first. We want, to, we want to map everything out first, you know. Because I don't want to end up, you know, getting swarmed from somewhere I can't see. That's what I'm trying to avoid. And also, see what, I, see what I'm saying? Naming rivers are so easy. Let's give them peace. And... We could make some gold by trying to talk to them. And with diplomacies, like, I don't know if I've, uh, I stated this, but the best way to go about diplomacies is buying tech from a computer, then selling to a computer. Because when you do that, it actually, um, it allows for the computer to give you more money for what you buy. And sometimes they give you more than what you paid for. So if you buy something for like 50 gold from a computer and then try to sell something to them, you might be able to sell it to them for, let's say, you know, say something for like 25 gold and something for 20 gold and another thing for 15 gold you add that up that's 45 and eventually 60 so you just made 10 gold and then sometimes it works a little bit better than that but it's all dependent upon how much the computer is willing to trade it's computers are a little a little glitch on dt they're really glitched on dt if you ask me um i really want to see if we can give the arabs peace because them attacking us is not going to be nice right now. That's going to, in the long run, mess us up. So we're going to, like I said, try to get that piece, which we did. I'm not going to let me have it, but we did get that piece. And we know that there's a barb camp up here and there. A horseman would be nice. We could send a horseman up there to get there faster, really. We might do that. We probably will do that. I'm actually going to do it. I wasn't thinking about it, but it actually might be a good idea to go ahead and research horseback riding. Okay, we're still working on a library. Alright. We do have enough to actually get our extra city. That's why I'm not really worried about saving my gold. So I'm going to insta build. Because when it comes to gold style victories, you really want to manage your gold. So I have two caravans, which my caravans, if I don't get them swiped, there's 50 gold each. That's my 100 gold. So technically, technically, I have 50 gold, 54 gold to spend on whatever I want to. And for the time being, I'm just going to kind of circle around and figure out what I want to do with them. I'm trying to find the uh, some things to name, more barb camps, and also name that. I'm hoping that I get gold from this. If I get some gold from it, that'll be nice. I can go ahead and insta build a the library, get a horse back in about two turns. Oh, they might kill me here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Victory is yours. <laughs> Alright, so we got it to go. Perfect. Perfecto. So I don't I don't even need to sell actually at this point. I mean I don't need to um I don't have to send my caravans. That's really good. I didn't think I would get to 50 gold. But I am happy about that. So another 50 gold. <laughs> oh my god, they are just being so nice and generous today. I'm really happy about that. Um we're still trying to map everything out, find all the sieves so that they don't get magical tech like always. I hate when computers get magical tech, it's the worst thing. So it looks like everything's in sight. 
66 gold. That's too much. We'll wait a few more turns till we get our great person. And honestly, we gotta figure out somewhere else to settle for, you know, getting some nice, 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 nice. Um, what, what is it? Uh, gold, gold. We need a gold city now. We got a nice super city. Well, super city in training or and produce production. <laughs> I don't know. We have a nice super city, you know, coming about basically. We're going to end up developing the city into a super city. It's just going to take a minute. So I think the next best place to settle would be right here. But, you know, uh, Greeks. Shucks. The Greeks are right there. That would be borderline dangerous to settle right there by the Greeks. But it would be a great city. It's the next best thing. I could try to push them, push them back with culture. But they have... Uh, this is a very hard one, so I'm going to take some time to think about my options. Like, I could have put a city here where I have I have one desert spot. Well, actually, I, have, I would have two desert spots, but everything else is average. Uh, I could come over here, have one desert spot, or put it here, put it in the middle, and have a good production city that's getting gold as well. It would kind of interlace, or not interlace, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Overlap would be the word The uh, with, the, with Delhi, if I said that right, too. I could put it up here. This is, the, this is the planning part of making your city. I really want to put a city right here. Believe it or not, and I think I'm going to do it. I think I will. I think I will just go ahead and take my troops, come up here, and I'll, I'll put a city right there by the Greeks and just try to fight their fight them off with culture. This may or may not work. And I'll just go ahead and walk my caravan around trying to find some stuff. But... We got our free person, so let's go ahead and do that. We don't need any production anymore. Eight signs per turn. We don't need horseback now. Because we're going to put a city up there, so we don't need to get there that fast. The best thing to do will be to go for irrigation. So we need pottery. But before we do that, I think we have a lot of gold. We have 92. Let's see if we can buy some tech, then sell some tech. Like I said, best thing to do. Brown's working. Look at that. 20 gold. 20 gold. He's selling it for very cheap. 20 gold. And we might be able to get our money right back. So let's check that out. No, we can't. We can get 10 gold, but that's half of it back. So I'm fine about that. Normally, that probably would have been 5 gold. And we're going to continue that process for every other sieve real quick. See if we can get anything. Nope, can't get anything. And if you look at what they can sell, five gold. See, you don't want to do that. We'll try Gandhi. They probably don't have anything this early in the game. Yeah. And knowledge for sale. 25 gold. We'll take it. That's a little start money. Alright, so now we got some start money. And once we make the city, we can insta produce. Just gotta be kind of careful. We might have some troops. All right, we don't see anything. All right, so like I said, that's perfect to name it and settle it right there. And this caravan, we can go ahead and send him somewhere, really, if we want to. But I want to see if we can name something real fast. I'm going to go around this whole river area and see if I can name something. If not, it's okay. One more turn. So you guys can see why the... Um, the Egyptians would be very OP when it comes to a science city. Because, look, that's 16 right off the back. We're getting a lot of good science. And we're going to settle here for a gold city. Fight them off. Put a good defense in there. We will need a market, so... Um, let me go ahead and produce an archer. This is going to be an instant build type thing right now. An archer there. And then I'll get a warrior next. Not here. Put a warrior... What I'm going to try to do is just, you know, get gold. I could just, for now, put them on science, though, because I don't have a market. Mm. Let's see if I can name something. Like I said, we're going to walk around the river, too, as well. I'm trying to figure this out, because you, you can switch off in between gold and science, but once you get a super city, you won't need to. It's just I haven't established a super city, and I'm not going to build a... Um, what you call it? I'm not going to build a library here because that would be kind of stupid. That's a waste of gold. It's not going to be a, you know, it's not going to be a science city. So you guys can see where I'm trying to plan my moves. And we're doing pretty decent right now. 20 tech per turn. Like I said, if you could hit 50 tech per turn by uh, 0 AD, that means you're doing really good. I don't know why I went for granted. Oh, irrigation. I always like to go for irrigation. Plus one population. That's the, uh, like I said, that's the indirect where... 
it will help me over time. Well, technically, this is kind of a direct because it instantly would give me a plus one. So the moment I get irrigation and I'm the first one to get it, it gives me plus one in my cities. Next would be literacy is another thing to go for because literacy, I believe, helps me go for banking, which it does. I need literacy and also it gives me one plus science in all my cities. Code of laws definitely is a go-to thing. So irrigation and code of laws are my main two things because they're more important than literacy. You know, I mean, I'm going to get to banking eventually, but code of laws is going to allow me to build more cities and it also give me a free trade impulse. So you can see how that is going to be an advantage. And then also it gives me access to currency, even though I can go for currency right now. So you can see how so many options are right here in my face. It's so beautiful. And we're just going to wait these turns out just in case somebody tries to get it in one turn, you know. Matter of fact, I will go ahead and build a library. Believe it or not, this is sometimes a better thing to do. To go against what you initially started. This will be a super city, but at the same time, a library is going to be very beneficial to get there really fast. Before anybody else tries to stop me. And then I'll switch it over to a gold when I get a market. And I'm going to keep this guy here just, you know, in case I want to, you know, get something really cool. So this is one turn. One turn. And it says it's going to take three turns. And we'll wait one more turn and then we'll do it. Usually you don't want to be skipping turns like this. You want to have something to do every turn. Which I do, actually. Okay, so I'm not too bad off right now. You want to be moving every turn, which this right here would be another good city for just anybody. Not really Egyptians, just everybody, because you have two Monarch guys, plus you have cattle. Which, if you put a city here, that would be a really, really beautiful city. I think, I don't know if I'm right, cattle... I, I want to check cattle. I don't particularly remember what cattle gives you. I believe cattle gives you plus three food, or is it two production? I want to figure this one out. So we got to figure out where they are. Okay, cattle. There's cattle. Then give you... To provide a significant bonus to food in any city built close. Okay, so it's give, it will give you food. That would be a great... Yeah, that would be a great science city. So that would probably be a next place to build a city. But I'm going to want to establish a defense in all my cities real quick and get an archer defense going. But for now... I don't have to worry about too much. And just to be on the safe side, I believe I'm going to save after this because I don't want my game to crash. I've had that happen. So, irrigation still open. We'll get that next turn. Our city's going to go up plus one in all places, so I don't have to worry about going for that just yet. Get a little money. As you can see, I'm about to get an overflow because it's um, I only need 22. And that'll be 70, so everything... This remainder of the 32, minus 22 is what will go to my gold. And this one will go up too, so that's good. Um, so... Right now it's looking good. We don't have a gold city yet, but we don't really need a gold city just yet because we're still starting out. You want to build your gold cities by 0 AD, or if you could before, or at least just get ready for them. And as you can see with this sieve, they automatically unlock irrigation. So if you want to go for irrigation with this sieve to get the bonus, you have to do that like really early in the game because after a few tech, you um you get it for free. I believe it's five tech. And next we're gonna go for a straight for code of laws. Because we're trying to go ahead and pop out a super city. It's looking really good right now. Um, I think I'll start doing some online games, actually, for you guys. Like, I have, I played one game online, and I'm not going to lie to you. I thought I was going to get my ass kicked. I was like, okay, I'm going to lose so bad. What am I doing? Why am I being stupid? Why am I playing this? And I got in there, and apparently, it wasn't that good for everybody. Like, I was shocked. The, the first guy left, and... I was like, okay, you just left the game. All right, so that's only three others, you know, well, two others, I mean. There's only two other people in the game, and one guy tried to attack me, and I was like, okay, okay. He couldn't do it, so I pulled off my little cheap maneuver to wait one turn when you're right by their open city because he obviously didn't realize to defend his city while attacking somebody. So I was like one space around from his city, and 
I waited until it was at one second. I moved up one spot. The turn went over to the next turn, and then I went in and just took a city before he could defend. A lot of people call that cheap, but I'm like, hey, if you're gonna attack somebody, you know, go ahead and defend your city. All right, right now, have some gold to be able to do that. That's what I always do. A lot of people online don't do that, but you always want to have enough gold to do something like that. So, I'm about to get a little overflow. I think. Let's see. 44. I'll be 80. I should be at 88. Yeah. All right. So I'll get a little overflow here. Build this unit. We don't really. Oh, we got a bar camp back here. I didn't know that. Okay. That's good. That's good. We don't got anything to build really here. A hanging guarders would be nice to build, but we don't have what it takes to build it. So let's go ahead and get this amazing instant first bonus. Oh my lord, we're doing so beautiful in the beginning already. Just get with science. Like, I know it's not a science video, but I just gotta stop and say I love when you make science like this. It's so nice. All right, so now we need currency. I think it says it gives you a free caravan. I I've never seen that happen. I've never tried it because I always get it from the gold bonus. But this game, I purposely have been spending all my money to try this out. So I'm gonna find out if it gives you a free caravan. We'll get, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll get it in one turn. Well, two turns. And I moved him to the right spot. And then after that, we'll def we'll build us a gold city. Because you can see, guys, right now how it's looking. It's already at 64. Um, my hanging gardens would be so nice. And courthouse. So many things we could build in here. And, yep. So let's go ahead and end our turn. Getting 76. That's nice on science. But we're not making any gold. Like I said, when it comes to a gold style victory, you need to establish your science city first. I could switch it off, but I want this overflow in gold because we only get six. And after that, I'll build a market. Well, I could build a trading post too, but yeah, I'll build a trading post. After this overflow, we'll build it. In, we'll instant build a trading post. All right, now it should give us a free caravan. All right, as a result, we receive a bonus caravan and a market built in thieves. Oh my lord, I love that. I didn't know that. Hey, keep that in mind. <laughs> Right now, I feel like this is not DET. This does not feel like DET at all right now. If you want me, guys, if you want me to be honest with you guys, this feels so much more easier and relaxing. So we're we're doing our stuff now. We're gonna overflow a little bit because we're gonna wipe wipe the floor with everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now. This is a game that I can go ahead and tell you. There's gonna be no problem. It's gonna be smooth selling. Watch me regret saying this, but I feel like it's gonna be smooth selling. No issues at all. We're going to settle our great person. You don't want to ever not settle, settle a great person in a gold style victory. We got a caravan. We can get 75 gold, which we will do because we already have a caravan sitting in the side over here just for if we need him. We don't need him right now, but if we need him, we'll get some gold. So let's go ahead and switch off to a market and a trading post. It's really bump this up here now we're gonna do customs because they're not gonna let us do what we want so we're gonna do customs 15 turns mm. we're making eight gold now that's not much but we're about to overflow and then insta build to get our money back so let's go ahead and overflow all this early tech all right let's go ahead and try to get whatever we can get for free and get some money i think it's gonna backstep anything that we don't have well everybody doesn't have anything so we're just gonna get it for free all right. Oh well, that's that works too. All right, so I want him. I want him on the hill before we attack. And we're sending this guy all the way out there. Hanging gardens is being built. Could build a temple, but nah. We can go to normal. I like to switch off to normal because if you keep it on balance, it automatically does everything for you. If you keep it on customs, I think it just like if you get another population square, it goes straight to production and doesn't put anything for you. So if you could do it without messing up your stuff like that, then I would keep it on balance. But if you have to actually really manage your stuff, then you can. Like if I wanted more population, I would have it like that. But on balance, it's just fine. Because I'm aiming for science with the city. This city up here, like I said, it's going to be for, you know, let's see how long it's going to take. It's going to be just for gold. So we're going to go ahead and get our overflow. Hopefully we get 66. I don't know if we overflowed for two turns or not. We'll overflow for two turns this time. Yeah, we did. Okay, so we did. That's insta build. That's 18 gold per turn. We're going to need a market next. We'll overflow for about... Until we kill this bar camp. We'll overflow until we kill this bar camp. And then we'll go for masonry because it's only 30 gold and we're getting 60 per, 66 per turn. Oh, well, we got blitz. So I guess it's next turn. 
We'll do it next turn then. <laughs> Jesus, man. I don't really think we need it that bad though, depending on what we get from this one. Oh, we got a... Oh, it's three ancient artifacts. I didn't know that. Okay, so we can go ahead and set sail. I did not know that there's artifacts. I, well, there, I should have known that there's artifacts, but I didn't think about it. I always tell everybody to go for boats, but I always forget. <laughs> I forget all the time. I'm like, all right, make sure you go for... Make sure you go for, um, you know, get yourself some boats and explore. And I'm like, over here, if you're getting anchor wide, ah, they're getting stuff already. So we're going to... Actually, we'll wait one more turn, because we're going to try to get a, a nice little bonus and actually have some gold left over after we insta-build this here. So we're doing good. We got our 75 from there. And after that, I think we should go ahead... And build a market next turn. So what we're gonna do is knock off gold. Really, this is looking nice. This is looking absolutely nice. So we're gonna we're going to um, basically put not everything on production, get five plus production, so we can spend the least amount of money possible. We got 144. We still can't insta build it, so it's gonna take a lot to insta build. So we actually, get six production. And the turn after that, it's gonna be cheaper. And we're gonna keep that how it is. It might we might be able to build hangar garters there if we can. That'll be nice. If not, it's still fine. All right, so we're gonna get everything that's cheap just because we're gonna overflow. Unless we want to go ahead and get banking, that's gonna take three turns. So let's go ahead and get everything that's cheap. Masonry two. I don't know if that was an overflow. Was that an overflow? I think it was overflow. I kind of lost my train of thought for a second. Um, huh? Looks like we can't build a market. Must be waiting for the... Oh, yeah, I was waiting for the overflow. Okay. <sighs> All right. All right. Good thing I'm offline. All right, so the walls are built. We don't really need walls, but we got walls. We'll get that in one turn because it takes 60 to get construction. So let's overflow again. This is the best thing about a gold-style victory. As you can tell, you can really manage your cities through gold. We'll need banking very soon, though, to really up this gold city. Wait, we already have banking. Did we, when, when did we get banking? I don't remember getting banking. <laughs> I honestly don't remember getting the technology banking. I don't know how I got that sick. Um, did I research banking? I honestly, do, I don't know how I got banking. I'm trying to understand how I got that one. Okay, anyway. We could do with another city, really. Because when it comes to winning gold... You want a lot of cities, so instead of doing what I was doing, I'm going to build all these archers. And there's only one archer, apparently. <laughs> all these one archers. <laughs> oh my god, that's stupid. And we're going to go ahead and try to aim for a city up here, because we're going to get monarchy very soon. So I'm not going to sweat it right now. And I don't have a population city, which I love to build population cities. One would be great right here. That's a great population city. Three granary spots, or... That might be the only place for a population city, it looks like. Yeah, they have that spot, which would be... This would have been an epic population city. Oh my god, that's five total granary spots. I would have settled there if I could have. If I had a, you know, a spot over there. But, we'll have to build a city right here, and that'll completely box in the uh, Az not Aztecs, the uh, Greeks. Which, honestly, sounds like a really good idea. Let me um, end one turn. And the next turn, we'll go for... Um, construction? No, we don't need construction. Um, let me just store up, and then we're gonna go for democracy here in a second. Oh my god! Wow, wow! This game, I'm telling you guys, this it was great to be able to do this game. They want us to win a ghost style victory here. We'll go ahead and get our free great person. 38 gold per turn. We need a total of 44. No, 34. So we're good. We're going to get that next turn. And a bank. We'll build that the turn after. And then start establishing a strong defense. All before is all before 0 AD. You want to try to do as much as you can before 0 AD. Because that's when you need to be making gold. So, like I said, we're storing up so that we can send a great city person. Not a great city person, but <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Um, let's get this guy on the ground and see what's over here. Oh, cool. Alright, it's looking good. It's looking good. 
So I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to send him from. Probably this city because it's about to go up in one turn. So yeah, we'll do it from there. And I guess we can go for construction to get the free gold. We could convert. Like I said, this is... Oh, he's trying to build a great hanging gardens. We're going to definitely convert that. Oh, my lord. <laughs> I'll take that. He's going to be mad. He's going to be mad. We can go ahead and try to, try to build a market. It's not really a great city to, um, you know, really build anything. But we just want to, you know, you just want to stop them from getting stuff like that. I don't know how much gold they said they gave us. But okay. Thank you for the extra gold. Seems that we have an amazing start. I'm really loving it. So we'll go up one turn. So we'll be at five the whole time. So let's go ahead and build a settler here. And a courthouse, definitely. They killed my science for some reason to give us more production. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, I want my science. And we don't want to walk behind them. I thought those were our, were our troops for a second, but... Apparently not. Um, let's go ahead and get that bank built. Granary to build the place up. And from here, instead of a courthouse, what am I thinking? We need more archers. They're going to attack us very soon. When you get too strong, they start to attack. And I see them moving open settlers. And now, we're going to go for monarchy. Because we're going to go ahead and build that city in a few turns. So... Let's go ahead and get Monarchy. Engineering will be nice for production. We're, we're going to go ahead and do the tech line of skipping to Monarchy and then going to Invention just because those are two great people back to back. It's really good to do. And if they attack us, we want to be ready. So actually, let's get a spy here. I see something over there that'll be helpful. We're going to be very sneaky today. Stealing things. And I got the spy over there waiting for them at... um their base. I couldn't stop their movements. I see that great person. I'm thinking about it. I'm about, I'm about to think about how to get that guy. We got two archers here. We don't got to worry too much about that. We got nothing building here. We're going to want to build archers to be able to defend ourselves. It's kind of like a side city just for taking his. So we don't really need the city per se. I'm going to move one more. Hopefully this works out the way I want it to. If not, oh well, at least I tried. But... Ooh, uh, court. We didn't get. Oh, we didn't get um iron working. Well, not iron working, but the uh, stuff for heels first. Dang it, <laughs> that could have been some free production. But oh well, live learn. I wasn't paying attention to the other tech of other sibs. They build a city there. As long as they're not too close, it's fine. And for this guy, we we'll want to put him right here. Try to move as fast as possible. They didn't see this person. Perfect. We can go kidnap this great person. Let's, I think there was one over there too. We can go try to kidnap that one as well. So we'll send him back. And actually create another great spy. I mean not a great spy. <laughs> oh hell the great spy. <laughs> we'll create another spy. And see how that where that takes us. So there was only three artifacts I believe. And if that's the case somebody already found an anchor watt. So that means there's really nothing else to find. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to keep looking. <clears throat> so you guys can see how this sieve could be dominant. Like, it's, like, early into the game. It is seriously early into the game. And we're already, like, we're just pumping out so much science. We're pumping out so much stuff. We haven't even founded our cities yet. We're about to start expanding right now before even 0 AD. Like I said, we should have waited until 0 AD. We're going to be before AD, 0 AD pumping out all this stuff. About to get two great people back back in no time with the Egyptians. This is one of my OP civs. I love the civ. Now you can get bad starts too. Now it's, the civ doesn't always have great starts like this, but um, no, we want to be able to get some more civs. So next we're gonna want to go for intervention, but that's gonna be a little ways up. So we'll go for democracy for a bit and then switch off. Hopefully they don't get our great, our well, not great spy, our spy. But you know, so I'm gonna put him here for now. We're not gonna settle because I want to found the city first. And as you can see, look at all that, look at all that food, look at all that beautiful food. 
That's why I like that right there. It's so nice. And we'll wait one more turn. And with them, of course, our boat's going around exploring. We could sell it when we're not when we're done with it or use it to settle somewhere else. Probably we'll get galley galleons, so it doesn't really matter that much for those. All right, next turn, I believe it is. We'll settle in a new city. And hopefully we can sneak in and get that great person. Oh, they're coming for us. They see us. They want that great. They want our spy. They want our spy. Our great spy. <laughs> the great almighty spy. All hail the spy. All right. So now we got this culture guy. We'll flip somebody eventually when they make a new city, or we get more culture. One of the two. I don't know. It's. I think it's culture that's helping holding us back. All right. So the reason I wanted to settle the city first before I did what I was about to do, which is population boost to all my cities, is because of course I want all my cities to population boost. So. After we get here, I don't know, still some more stuff. Alright, peace, yeah. I'm not sure how we're gonna get that spy there, also. But, I'm trying to take this guy and explore all these little lands, and after that, then I'm gonna take that boat and maybe use it for a city, but... We're gonna have to war them so they don't build it. Um, Our spy's not gonna make it. The best we could do is move here and hope there's nobody here. Okay, okay, we got a great one. Alright, cool. Whew. I was scared for a second. I thought they stole my spot. Alright, I'd have to pull it back. I can't believe this game's gonna go by so fast. Um, what a population boost to everybody. That's so beautiful. Let's go ahead and go for some more defense units and let's stop this build here. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just normalize that. And a workshop before we start building archers actually would be nice. And yeah, yeah, now we can build some archers every two turns. Which would be way better than what we were doing before. We're gonna lose We're gonna lose ground soon, so I guess we gotta build some temples as well, because I don't want to start losing ground. This is the whole good thing about having gold from, you know, gold cities, because you can just insta build over and over and over. No worries at all. And the next turn, well, the turn after next, we'll have some gold for overflow. Plus, on top of that, we'll have some gold for um, just, you know, being awesome. And we have them pretty much blocked in. We still got our caravan there. And hopefully they'll keep to themselves while I try to steal some stuff from them. <laughs> Let's see how this works out. So I think this is pretty much it from exploring. Looks like that's pretty much it. Oh, that's a great granary city place right up there. We can build something there, but um, we're not trying to do that. Apparently, that settler is open, but I'm not trying to get it. I don't care about their settler, honestly, if you want me to be truthful with you. I want to try to go back. Oh, I just realized. I just realized. Oh, no. Give them peace ASAP. Hopefully, they don't try to take them. They might try to take our great person. I didn't. Okay, here we go. Let's hope for good luck. We've been on the lucky streak. Hopefully they just say, hey, we see you're a great person. We'll give you gold. I mean, you, if you give us gold, we'll leave you alone. Come on, come on. Cause we're trying to do it. We're doing good right now. We're doing good. Don't mess with us. Don't mess with our mojo. Uh, 50 gold. Take the money and leave me alone. I will take that. I'll make it more than that every turn. I'm probably about to send that caravan out now. But let's make a change. You definitely need the democracy, like I said, for um, the victory that I'm trying to go for. Mm. Engineering for production. I'm going to go for engineering really fast, just because I need some production in my cities. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this boat next turn. We don't need it. I want to kind of hold this place down with these guys. Great scientist is looking really nice. Oh, we're going to have to pay some more. Wait, no, I think they said they're going to leave us alone. Hopefully that works for multiple turns. Nope, it doesn't work for multiple turns, it doesn't look like. I could build a horseman and go there, but... Not looking forward to it. It's to build a... Barracks. We're looking really good right now. Archers, full archer defense. <clears throat> Once we can get something to steal from there, that'll be nice. And like I said, with this caravan, it's only 75 gold. I'm going to bring him back in. And see if we can steal some more stuff. They're building their hangar gardens. Again. Wait, no. It's them now. Alright, so let's stop that one real quick. 
And they have a great builder. Oh, we can't stop it this time. Shucks. Well, we can buy some stuff. Let's buy mathematics for 100 gold. That's where we're going to start buying stuff, you know. And so we got it for 100 gold. We should have a better result. See what I mean? So we can get irrigation to 60 gold. We only spent 100 now. Now, right here, we've got a total of 105. We spent 100, and we can just go through and keep selling them stuff. I'm not going to. I'm not going to keep selling them too much. I will get a little, little extra off the top, and then I could have made 30 extra gold, but I'm not going to. And if I want to, I can go back, buy religion for 160, which I probably would. Hmm. No, I don't want to make them too powerful. Yeah, I don't want to make them too powerful. Let's see if we can buy something else. I mean, I usually like to save these techs, but I'm kind of just trying to make sure that my city is looking nice on tech. Because it works better if you do it for multiple people. Like, if you're doing a gold style victory, you don't have to, you're not trying to worry about actually researching tech. You're going to just, you know, buy your tech. I don't know if I came to him already. I can't remember. I'm going to check. Uh, religion for 70. Okay, so no. Well, we can buy it because we didn't buy anything from him. So let's buy it from him for 170. And then we'll sell him stuff. Because we're not we're not trying to make one sieve too strong. That's what you want to avoid. If you make one AI too strong, they might become a problem. So look, we bought it for 170. We can sell this to him. Oh, I don't want to really give him code of laws, but I will. 115. Construction 40. That's 155. We bought for 170. Let's give him mathematics. And now we made our money back. Yeah, let's make a little extra off the top. 20 gold. So you can see how that works with diplomacy. You can make extra money. Now I can instant build a market to create more revenue from here. And you see how this is looking 100 gold from here. No bank yet, I don't think. Did I got a bank? Oh, I got a bank here. Never mind. So I do have a bank there. No bank here. And this place is just, ugh, it's just a poo city. Go to Archer, because now it's, we have pikemen. And... Um... Market. Finn, hopefully they leave us alone. Let's hope for the best, guys. Let's hope for the best. I can do a flip, really. No, I can't do it yet. I don't got enough culture. Let's see if they leave us alone. Ooh, take the money, leave us alone. Another turn. They hit us for 85 gold, and they blocked us in. Oh my god, they're being so rude. I'm going to have to send out an archer next turn, because they're, they're tapping us clean. They got us blocked in completely, dude. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Let's sell this guy. Like I said, we don't want them to tap us too much now. Huh. This might not be worth it. Send out a horseman. He won't make any time. Chinese warriors are right there on him. The best I can do is move him away. Because they're going to block our way this whole time. So Looks like we're kind of screwed here. We'll try to run and pay again another turn. That's going to be really painful, but oh well. Alright, so we're not trying to build that here. We want a courthouse. I don't think a courthouse is really going to help us. It'll give us these three spots. Some more sea. That would be kind of beneficial. The mountains, but we don't have any production. And some more areas. Courthouse ain't really going to be beneficial here at all. We need a hanging gardens. Oh, a hanging gardens would be nice. Would be really, really be nice. Um, granary. I'm going to have to go ahead and just spare this city a few points here. I hate to do this. I'll knock it down to a level 4 city. And with that being said, we'll go ahead and make us a granary spot. Well, I mean a population city just to be able to pump out. I'll we'll build some more pikemen coming here. Just because I want to make sure my city stays safe. I'm going to have to build some pikemen somewhere. I'll have to build a road and then build a pikemen after. That's what I'll do. And now we got our engineering. So you guys can see how this gold style victory is working. We're at 100 AD, pumping out 153 per turn. And science is looking pretty low, 75 per turn. If we really want to focus on science, we could probably be hitting 200 plus. But like I said, this is not meant for science. We're going to work around getting science slowly, but mostly focusing on gold. Because the next thing we want to get is industrialization, but we need steam power, which I'm going to use that great scientist, as you can tell. To do it so instead i'm gonna go for invention get the great person yeah they're hating our culture right now it's not good so they're blocking us in i don't like this at all they're blocking us in we gotta figure out what we're gonna do there's nowhere for us to go really we gotta hope they leave us alone we just gotta hope they leave us alone so we can get our person back home there's a well there 
Don't want to well over a granary spot. Do I want to well over a granary spot? I will get an extra tree. Yeah, I'll do it. A well gives you more. I can't think. Of, I couldn't think about it. All right, um, we're looking good. I could have waited on him, but oh well. We're still waiting for them to get a great person. Once they get it, we'll send a spy in and take that. And if we need some gold, we always got our caravan to route for 75 gold. So that's good. We got this building in the back. A bank building up here to really increase our gold flow. Hmm. All right, so now we got a opening to get back home. I like it. Are they going to leave us alone? Ooh. Well, they're coming to settle by us. I don't like that. I don't like that. Ah, uh, they're coming close. Hopefully they settle right there and don't come any closer. Alright, so we'll settle here. And block off the, uh... We'll block off all paths for them to even go. So they can't go anywhere. If they went this way, maybe. But we'll get a courthouse and stop that for sure. So now... We're gonna get our person back safe and soundly. And the turn after that, we'll get, um... Once he gets back in the city, we'll have to wait one turn. We'll get a mention. And after that, we'll use him to go ahead and get, um, steam power. Or we might get an industrialization, either one. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. So this city is going to be a pumping city. So I'm going to go ahead and get the granary out. All cities are gold cities as well. No cities, if you want to check. No cities are science, but this one city. So you can see what I mean. We're going to build some roads. Connect a road here. Connect a road here. And eventually we'll build a road all the way out there. But right now that that might not benefit us at all. Because right now we have control of this area. This area is ours. So you can see it's okay to build a road like here. But building a road anywhere else might negatively impact us. So we're going to kind of like have our caravan here managing the road. Which is kind of stupid. Alright. No, what we'll do is we'll just get a... We'll instead build another pikeman. We can go ahead and do that. Have him manage the road so they can't spawn magically throughout the dust. And take over with their fairy dust. I hate computers, <laughs> if you can't tell. And as you can tell, the reason I explained the video before is so you can understand everything that I'm going to be using to play my gold victory, because I can't really explain it all and play at the same time, you know? So, you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm trying to confuse. I already got a granary here. This maybe might not be a population city unless I go ahead and get that well. Until I get that well, this ain't gonna be a pop it can't be a population city, really. But we'll get it next turn. We'll hold off this guy for this turn. We might actually get the other one legit. We might go ahead and get uh, steam power legit, just so we can instant build industrialization and really get our gold pumping up. So we don't have any spots for extra science cities. I mean, there's one right here. That's a decent science city. Um, besides that, there I could build one right here at the edge. That might be a science city. So... It's all personal preference. And they build a city right next to us. We're going to take that from them eventually. Not right now. We got a great person. Cool. So we got our next great person. Let's wait five turns and actually get this legit. And then we'll instant build and get the other thing. So with that in mind, let's make sure nobody's building hanging gardens anywhere. Well, that we can see. We can use that great builder so bad. But to steal it, we would have to take this city. Can we flip that city? Is it possible to flip that city? No, we can't. Not making enough culture. Six turns. We could actually instant build this if we save up our gold. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and try to instant build this thing here. Alright, I got a plan. I got a plan. We'll wait one more turn. This might work out. Ooh, I see more settlers. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. And they're thinking about it. I'm going to try to block them off with my militia every time they move. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the Greeks. They built it. They knew what I was about to do. Alright, so we'll build a different one there. Let's go ahead and get something for science. Um, there's not really anything in here for science, so let's just, I guess, build a temple. Build a next, it'll build next turn. Oh, we got two great scientists. Alright, so that's perfect. We'll save those guys. This will work perfect, actually. Let's see. Um, Because I could build another Wonder, Great Library, Shakespeare. But none of this really helps. I mean, a trade fair would be so nice if I could get a trade fair here. Like, if I got a trade fair in this city. Oh, my God. But that's 81. Any city that could get a trade fair, actually. 81 turns. That's not going to happen. 
This is supposed to be a population city by navigation. So we'll wait a turn. Alright, so like I said, I'm gonna block them off because I don't want them settling too close to me. Alright, we got our court. I mean, not our courthouse. We got our um, thing here. So let's see if this increases our science. Not. Nope, we're gonna have to manually increase our science. But. Oh well, at least we got it up. That's all that really matters. Like I said, we're going to stop them from going anywhere near our city. Well, our main city, because the city is going to be too crowded if they try to bring anybody else here. 404. It's nothing I really need to build instantly, so let's go ahead and get a bank here. You want to sacrifice, even though it was like 400 gold, dude. Like, you really want to sacrifice that for a, um, when you're going for a ghost out. Because now I'm getting 204, so in two turns, I'll get that back. Rather than waiting, like, 20 turns to build that, you know. So... It pays off in the long run. And then we got their settlers going back. That's good. That's good. Alright, so... Mm, I think we're doing really good right now. We're doing really good. I like this. We'll go one more turn. 580. That's where we're really going to just try to flip this all around. All in one turn. So we'll get our steam power. Which we get a free cruiser. We can build some uh, stuff on the boat. Industrialization. I'm going to try to do something really insane. Oh, they don't like us now. Um, I wish we had our other cities that I want to build. I want to build two cities down here, but I don't know if industrialization works after you build cities. Like, I don't know if it gives it to your new cities, but just to be on a safe side, we're going to go ahead and do this. We'll get industrialization. You can build a factory, of course, but the main point is 5 plus gold in all, all the cities. Now we're 311 per turn. See how it just went up? I don't know what it was before, but you can pause, rewind. And hopefully we can go straight for corporation with our second one. Can we not go for corporation? We can go for corporation. Okay, so we'll be able to get both of those back to back. What are great scientists? Complete study of corporation. Now we can go to military industrial, but at the same time, five plus more in gold, popping us to another hundred plus to four hundred gold now. So now in this gold style victory, we're looking beautiful. So we're gonna just now pump out all our cities and create some really beautiful cities. Like markets here, market there, a bank here, you know what I mean? I could really use a factory here so that I can get the um you know, I wanna go ahead and get the uh trade fair here, which will really destroy this game. And I gotta make sure my cities are properly defended now because they're gonna be coming after me, but I got cruisers, that's nice. Gandhi wants to kill me like always because, you know, he's Gandhi. Nobody likes Gandhi. Nobody likes you, Gandhi. I could give him this. All right, let's see if he'll take this and leave me alone. Oh, Gandhi, Gandhi, Gandhi. I'm not giving him gold. You can suck a long one before I give him some gold. Yeah, he's bringing his troops. We can bring a Gandhi. Oh, my God. Gandhi's going to he's gonna know the crap out of me. I see it. I could attack Gandhi. Feudalism. I might do it. Oh, I'm gonna need it anyway because they're trying to, they're trying to gang up now. All right, so um, we're looking for the lost city of Atlantis. That's all we're doing right now, just to go ahead and get that extra, the extra buff there. And a bank here, as you can see why. I'm just trying to build that. You know, that bonus for every single place. Every single place needs a bank. Every place needs to go up. Because I'm at 501 per turn. Even though it was 400, now I'm pumping 501 per turn. That 400 will be nothing, you know. It's like, I'm going to keep getting that back to back. See what I did there? <laughs> we still can't convert anybody. We're keeping him just for conversions. I want to be able to convert the city so we can send a spy in here and take that city. Or build a city through a boat. Which I could have sent a city off a boat to that area. But we need a spy so we can send it in there. Get that person. We might be able to take Gandhi out, because he's on a heel. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take Gandhi out next turn. We'll need a road. That's 240. We're not going to worry about it just yet. Not yet, actually. No, I want to be able to save side of that. He don't magically... Well, he can't take my city anyway. He's killing my science, I think. Yeah, we're going to kill Gandhi. We don't like... Like, I don't... Well, not we, but I don't like Gandhi. I can't stand Gandhi. Gandhi is the most a hole person in this whole freaking game. But it's looking really nice. You see how this is a gold style victory. We're missing the thing we're missing right now. We got 50 plus caravan gold now. I can really use my caravan right now if I need to, which I probably will. 
Yeah, railroad for production to be able to, to produce things faster. Now, when we get Atlantis, if we get Atlantis, it will be the greatest advantage ever in this game. That's if we get it. There's no guarantee. And really, that's all it is to it, to winning a Ghost Style victory. You just want to keep building your banks. And once you finally make your max, as you can see right here, maxed out. No more banks to build. No more um, no more uh, trading posts to build, which I might be able to build. Nope, can't build a trading post. Yeah, no more banks, no more trading posts and all that stuff. Then you want to make a new city. That's how you want to keep the uh, method going. And your goal to achieve, it'll just keep going up and up and up and up. And I would switch off to the other thing, but I don't want to. So you can see... For some reason, this one is standard 75 gold. I don't know why it's still standard 75 gold. I don't need it, but I'm going to keep it here just in case. Workshops. This place could use a workshop, but I don't think... Oh, it already has one. Okay. So, um... Hmm. 96 gold. Colossus will be killed soon. I know it will. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go with this. I want to take out Gandhi. So that road is going to be useful. Build a road. Ugh. Where can I build a road? I gotta figure out where I can build a road too. I said I can build a road here. Oh my god, that's the longest road ever. 300 gold. But it would make my city open. So let me. Before I build a road, let me pump this up with some pikemen. Build a road now. This is 175, that ain't bad. It's gonna be a long road. I'll just go along and clear anything that's in the way that's warlike, but he's in my way, it seems. Ah, that's gonna suck. He's blocking my way. Oh well. Next turn. Hopefully, I find Atlantis really soon. And we're gonna go ahead and get Gandhi's troops off, because he's gonna annoy the crap out of me walking on my science spot over and over and over. I can't remember what that gives you, but if we get gunpowder, that gives you something. I think more production. But we gotta go ahead and get that, just to be able to pump up that city just a little bit more. Just, you know, keep it going. You wanna keep pumping up your cities as much as you can. Instant build. We're gonna try to instant build a defense until we get there, because we don't want a non-veteran defense, and we'll make a pikeman veteran here, because we have barracks. So let's first get that population bonus, and then build a veteran pikeman here. Yeah. Still can't convert. Our culture is terrible. We're doing gold, so, you know, not really worrying about it. 198, 144. We really need to get a factory built here, but it's going to take so long. Mm. That great production person would be so nice to get right now. But we'd have to take over this city, which we could take about force if they wore us. Which they're probably not going to do. <laughs> That's like the last thing they go, they'll think of. We need 200 gold to connect to that road. We're not going to connect just yet until we get enough, you know, troops ready to fight. And sometimes when you see Atlantis, you want to hold off a turn. Just because if you're about to get something, it might give you that. And I don't know what happens to your science. It may stack over. But I'm not absolutely sure. So, kind of want to avoid messing that up. So instead of building this, actually, we'll build a knight real quick. And then we'll go ahead and build that road, because I just wanted to make sure we can build a knight. We'll take out Gandhi, because Gandhi, he's going to be like, he's going to be all up in it. He's going to be all up in it. Like, he's going to be having his nose and everything. They don't stop blocking our roads. They're going to kill us with that. But, oh well. Let's get some knights pumping. Now I can do a non-veteran. Yeah, he's sending some troops. I just gotta make sure Gandhi's nowhere near. So this is gonna be kind of hard to get what I need because they're gonna send a lot here. I need to get them off the road because they Gandhi might actually be able to overtake me with that. I don't want to convert that city. I can take that naturally. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that was Gandhi's troops. We might lose our troops here. Ah, uh, Gandhi lose, lose Gandhi with your lucky wins, and Gandhi always wins. When he's a computer. <laughs> yeah, because he's bringing that army in. And since they're on our road, that's killing us. Alright, they're off the road. Cool. 
All right, so what we're gonna try to do is overrun, of course. It's cool. We'll clear out this way and make our way down to Gandhi's troops. Hopefully this works. I'm just gonna slowly do this because I don't want anything to mess up. So perfect. Uh, forgot about the cruiser. There ain't nothing here. Where else could it be? I'm trying to look around and see if I see it. There's a spot down here that we haven't. Oh, okay, down here. It has to be down here. All right, but anyway, so another night. We already know, we already know the road's clear. Can I even walk this far? Yes, I can. All right, so I could try to attack six on six. Can I instant build a knight? I will try to attack six on six. Let's see how this works. Six on six, or eight on six actually, because it's better. Instead of just attacking once. I want to be able to overrun even if I lose. It might work. Let's see. We lost because Gandhi's an a-hole. There's no overrun. That should be an overrun, but oh well. That's what I'm saying. Gandhi is something else. He is something else. So we won't get that. Hopefully they can't take us out in one attack. I don't think they can. Hopefully they can't. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. If they can, we're kind of screwed. But let's go ahead and get a factory built here too. And our gold is looking beautiful. Alright, that factory's built. So now, straight for a trade fair. That's 25 turns. We'll get that in no turn. No, probably three turns. Yeah, any enemy spot. Ooh. Ah, come on, Gandhi. Don't have a lucky win this time. Here comes Gandhi. I should have put an extra troop in there to be on the safe side. I can take it back, but it's going to hurt me. I hate Gandhi. I hate Gandhi. I hate Gandhi. Did I say I hate Gandhi? I hate Gandhi. Watch him have like a whole massive army there now. How's Athens replacing us? We gotta watch Athens. They're doing something. They're scheming. Let's go ahead and go for gunpowder. Oh, I see. We gotta send that spy in now. Oh, Gandhi, you piece of mother. Oh! No, we are not having that, Gandhi, with your old... Mm, mm, trying to calm myself. Calm myself. Alright, here we go. So change governments. Gandhi's a mm, asshole. I'm trying to calm my cussing down. I don't want to break an attack. The overrun is freaking. <laughs> I hate Gandhi. I hate freaking Gandhi. I, did I say I hate Gandhi? I hate Gandhi. He's. So, I don't hate the real Gandhi. I don't hate the real Gandhi. The real Gandhi's probably a nice person, really peaceful, really nice. I hate the freaking computer Gandhi. Hopefully we can find Atlantis before we waste too much science. But um. They're pumping out some stuff here about to take us over, so let's try to hopefully... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, my God. No. Okay, good. Well, they got a free spot, but we're going to go ahead and... We'll counteract that with settling him here. And next turn, we'll build a cathedral instantly. And we'll probably have to demolish a building or two. Huh, Gandhi's. Did I say Gandhi's an asshole? We'll settle with him here too. Just, I don't want to build up my culture really, but I got no choice. Oh, I should have made sure I got him out of the city just in case. A democracy. Come on, Gandhi. Gandhi is probably going to give us peace. Yep. I hate Gandhi. Hopefully they didn't convert our city. No, they didn't. Cool. Oh, he didn't even take our spy. Wow. Demolish your building. All right, so I'll probably go off science actually until I get the um, until I get what I'm looking for. I'll just switch over to gold real quick and get no science. Do I have a bank here? Actually, I'll just go ahead and build a bank if I don't have a bank already built. No, I do not have a bank built, but I'm also wanting a trade fair here now because I don't need to worry about them too much. 100 gold, I like that. No, I still don't have enough. So, um, temple, maybe a cathedral. We're slacking on tech now, really bad. Mmm. Gandhi's a punk, also. And, okay, the turn's looking good. Like I said, trying so hard to find Atlantis. Atlantis is trying to hard hide from us. It doesn't want to be found. 
it does not want to be found let's speed up this process I don't really feel like waiting to find Atlantis so it's not here I'll send him the other way I hope I don't think Atlantis has been found I only make a 700 gold that's not good enough right now it's 950 AD we need to be pumping more gold out oh did they convert us Oh shucks, they it didn't even have a flag, it said I was good. Huh. I'm about to kill the Greeks. Guys, guys, guys. They don't want us to be winning right now. Like we were winning at first, but now it's like They don't like us. We gotta build some more roads. I can't build any more connecting roads apparently. Alright, so what we're gonna have to do. I was not expecting to have to do this. I'm going to have to war the Chinese because they're in the way. I hate to war them. Oh, wait. I got to switch off first. So first, this is going to hurt. Change governments. We'll switch to something else. We'll make sure that they're not in the road messing up our walk space. We cannot let the Greeks establish a beautiful defense. Wow. 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 Oh my god, that's it. They're going down. They're not having that. 18. Can I get March? Yes, perfect. They're so annoying for that. We'll have to take everybody out real quick that's close by in the proximity. We cannot let them have our main freaking gold city. <sighs> Greeks, 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 Greeks. We'll just take them out as well. Uh, we can't take it out in one go, so let's build another night. This is not happening the way I wanted it to. I thought I could stop them. Can I instantly build a wall next turn? In this turn? I have to go for Monarchy because they're trying to kill us bad. Everybody, we just declare it global war. <laughs> like, we're just going global war now because they're not going to back off. So let's go for a, um, I would say a monarchy, a republic, mm, a monarchy, or, yeah. Well, actually, what is a, your threats don't frighten us. Uh, I made us go to monarchy. I didn't want to go for monarchy. Instabil walls. You know what we're about to do here. We're about to just hammer them down. Because we can't be having them take us on. We're not making signs until we find Atlantis. Atlantis is somewhere around here. Has to be. There it is. Oh my god, it took a while to find that. Alright, so now that we got that, we can go back to science here. And build a university. I don't know what this gives you. Oh. Apparently it gives me a lot of science and stuff. I don't know what that's giving me. Oh, requires... Ah, uh, that's oil. <laughs> LOL. Alright, so... I can't build a spy. I need a wall here, too. I don't want them taking any of my places again. An act an aqueduct this was not supposed to happen like I said I was supposed to get my trade fair and really bombed them down but it's not happening in no way so we're gonna go ahead and hit that 22 defense let's go ahead and end that no we're not gonna even hit that 22 defense let's not do that let's see if he'll give us peace no he won't hmm um Let's wait one turn and see what happens here. Come on, don't let them have that. I'm about to say, don't let them have that. Really, if I form a cruiser fleet right by him, that'll be the undecided changer. Mass production, we can't really go for it, but... I don't even want the city to be here. It's like, there you go. I don't know what I'm going to do with that city. We're going to run through them if we can. Alright, so the first city we want to run through, 
would be the Greeks, but we can't even get through. Oh, yeah, we can. We can get to them through the sea. Cool. All right. So what you, if you're wondering what I'm trying to do now, is I'm going to send some boats out. Form a cruiser fleet. Move him back first. Make sure my defenses are really good, because after seeing that, what happened last turn, we're not going to go through that again. Build some riflemen. We got enough riflemen to make a defense. Um, we'll end up taking them naturally. We don't have to attack them. We can attack the Arabs. This game should have been in my control, but it seems that they wanted to fight back heavily. Alright, let's see how this works out. We'll go one more turn. Oh, they took that crappy city. <laughs> They're trying hard. You can have that city all you want, man. I don't, I don't even want that crappy city. So this is going to be kind of hard. Just because they're not going to go easy on us. So we're going to build a cruiser here. Let's make sure it goes to where we want it over there on the left. And we'll send that cruiser in right here. And that's not it. Alright, so... I hate to try to wipe somebody out when I'm trying to do a gold victory, but they're going to really hurt us in the long run if we don't take them out. So we will take them out. And apparently they're in my way. We don't want no lucky victory, so we'll just use our archers to attack. I hope you guys are learning some stuff. I hope you really are learning some stuff because that's the whole point of these videos to teach you. Is like, you know, to teach you as much as I can and hope that you pick up some type of strategy, you know. Like, okay, I saw what he did there. Alright, let me go kick some butt now. Can I build an iron mine? I did not know I could build an iron mine. Huh. Iron mine in a factory. I hate to do this, but we're going to go back to a democracy. Because we can't afford to lose as much science and gold and stuff. Whoever gives us peace, we'll just leave them alone for now. Sure, we'll make peace. Alright, so. We'll mm, attack. I'll just have him here to clear out people as much as they can and move them away from their city. Now, it should take him two more turns to get here. Yep, two more turns. And a turn after that, we'll see what we'll do here. Six, nah. Did I switch over to a democracy? I did. Still only make a 48. They must have killed my Colossus. Uh, Alright, well, they're gonna do that. We gotta get a spy. Oh no! Oh, I was hoping they didn't have this. Alright, we'll, we'll send a spy army next time. Because they're gonna surround us with their culture if we don't do anything about it. But in the meantime, let's go after somebody else we can attack. Which we have to do this. Ugh. We're trying to make it hard on us. Alright, so. Here's what we'll do. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm trying to figure this out myself. Since we can't attack them, who's somebody we can wipe out? We can wipe out the Chinese. I can get there, but I don't need to actually really get there. I can get, I can move my troops back over there, and then get back later. So, hmm. Make sure this works out well. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a little trick. But we have to try to take over 
all the civs really fast. Well, not all the civs, but all the civs in our close area, because they're going to all try to, you know, slow us down over time, and they're really hurting our gold. We'll take two spies here. They'll be at the Chinese place in no time. And... I want a factory built here. Mm. A university to get our science back. And on top of that, I need another spy to kill that culture of theirs. I didn't think about if they're veteran or not. No, I did not. I'm going to need a veteran spy no matter what. So let's get a veteran spy next turn. Okay, so we took the city. That's cool. Let's get build a market, I guess. I don't know. The city's kind of lame because they built it right on top of us. So what we'll do, they have a great person we can take. We'll take over the Chinese that's right by us. And after we take out over the Chinese... So we don't have to really build cities anymore because I was thinking about how we're going to expand. So instead of expanding, we'll just take their few cities and increase our gold. So you can see my gold is dropping because we were at like 700 and now we're at 495. I don't know how it dropped so bad, but um, it's dropping pretty bad because I guess all this warring or whatever. So what we'll have to do is get it back up. Let's hope we can get an even win, an even win, an even win. We probably won't. Let's see, can we? Can we? Come on, fight for your lives. Yes, there we go. Give me infiltration. Oh, we got a great. J oh my god, that's actually going to spell a defeat for them. So let's go ahead and try to get him there fast, ASAP. We'll get our great. Our, well, not great spy. I keep saying great things. Alright, we'll get our spy in there. We're going to send a lot of spies in there as much as we can and break down the god dang freaking Greeks because the Greeks are killing us. First, we'll take this great person. We'll send them in our city. We won't convert them just yet. We'll wait until we take that city. We're about to try to wipe them out. Now, that's not it. We'll train another spy here. Two spies. Two destructions. So we'll go in here. Demolish the building. Temple destroyed. Perfect. That is a perfect building to kill. And we'll go in there again. Almost walked the wrong way. Demolish another building courthouse perfect so that cripples them basically and we still want to build a trade fair we didn't get to build that because they messed us up pretty bad now I would build a cathedral but a university is more important to get our science back than a cathedral Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and just take over the game. Oh, I almost forgot about them. You don't want to forget about your troops. Can I build any roads to like make this a little bit more efficient? No, I cannot build any roads. <sighs> Shucks. Do we have two movement? Yes, we do. Thank God we have two movement. So we're going to go ahead and make sure this guy does not die no matter what. Rifleman. No, can't build rifleman there. Rifleman here. The whole point of this is to make sure that we don't lose this troop. He is a really effective troop. Alright, so now we're looking good. I don't even know why I'm really going for modern infantry that bad. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. Ha! Ah, thought I had archers there, but I might have more than that. Alright, ah, oh, shucks. Hmm. Kill unit. We might just take him the natural way. Yeah, we'll probably just take him the natural way. And just have some riflemen building there. Cathedral building there to really take it faster. And from then on, we can now start expanding. So this wasn't really a good super city. I didn't get a chance to get my East India Company before they got to kill my Colossus. But it was close to being an awesome super city. It was like, but you can see how uh, you can have a main, um, wow. You can see how you can have a main, um, science city. Like, you just have one science city and the rest all on gold. 
you see how this is really beneficial. So I'm going to go ahead and take all these troops here. And we're going to put them on a boat. And we could use another army. So instead of actually doing that, we'll get some knights and to build two knights. Let's put them on the boat. The reason being is because you want to be able to actually attack without using your great general too much. And now we'll go back to building something like the Oxford. Let's see if we can get a nice flight or something. I don't know. I could wait a little bit and see if we can get advanced flight, but I'm not really worried about it at all. I don't really care that much. We're not making much science at all. Um, it's going to take five turns. Maybe we can go for something like printing press. I don't know. we got to kill them before they get too powerful because they'll end up trying to take us out. Form a second army for them to attack. And if I had a cannon, I would send a cannon with them. Can I make a cannon? Mm, no, I can't, but I can make another knight, so. I don't really care what this is on, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to send another knight just to be on the safe side that we have enough to take them out in a one spell swoop. And then also, I see a great builder. That'll be perfect. We'll build some spies. Actually, we got a spy right now. Let me try something. Let me try something. Do I got enough people to defend? Yes, I do. Cool. Alright, we'll put this guy up here. And we'll try to take him over, take him out next turn, I mean. And with the boat, we'll go ahead and take out the Chinese, Beijing. We don't need to aim for their small cities that much. And that'll give us a foothold to really make them surrender. Did they just bring us Oh my god, they brought they brought settlers over there. I'm not I'm just now noticing that. I would have never noticed that actually if they didn't move. Because I, I noticed them move, but I wasn't really paying attention, you know. I could take them, but honestly, I don't even think I really want to take them. But then again, they're about to settle in my spot that I did want a population city. But at this point, I don't really need a population city. All I need to do is just sit back and relax and just watch the game come over to my side. But I do, I do want to make sure they get their just desserts. So no more cities for them. If I can actually do what I need to do, change governments. At this point in time, you can, if you want, take another science city, but in my experience on Deity, at this point, you don't really need to if you're playing on Deity, but if you're playing people, different story, different story. I would say you could go take another city, but I'm not playing people, so I don't have to worry too much, you know. I'll just make the city right here and then make, go back to democracy and they'll probably give me peace. It's another gold city and then a granary and then market. Honestly, granary, market. And that'll be a great start right there for that city. As you can see, we're really getting them. Can I go ahead and get to that? I want to be safe. I want to actually be safe. I'll build a spy here. If this works, I don't know if this is going to work. I should have waited one turn. Mm. Okay, they can all get here. That's all that matters. And I won't mess with the Oxford University. I'll actually build that next turn. Build a spy here. Temple, I guess. I don't know. I'm just building things. But I'll make a full out army because this would be a great advantage to go ahead and. Yeah, good thing I did. To go ahead and get that great builder next turn and put it in my gold city to get the trade fair faster. Because I'm making gold, but not enough gold. I don't really want to focus too much on gold, so I want to try to, um, like it is a gold, like I said, gold style victory, but at some point you want to focus on other things and micromanage. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Next turn we'll hound uh, Chinese and see if we can get a victory. If they don't give us peace right here. Alright, I don't know what they gave us, I just skipped through it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I would have to, y'all have to look and see what they gave me, but I don't really care. Alright, so yeah, like I said, they would give us peace. Hopefully Chinese, yep, China didn't. Cool. So since Chinese didn't give us peace, let's go ahead and, wow, 30 defense. Okay, I was not expecting that. Let's see if we can get a win. Come on, come on, even if you lose. That's why I said just in case, just in case you lose on these. You don't ever come lose like that. That would have been my great general. But they can't take another one of those. They don't have another high defense like that. Oh, but they do have that. 
they win this, I'm just gonna give up on the Chinese. I won't even try. I won't even try if they won that one. Oh man. I wanna try to hit them again. I don't wanna give them an insta victory. Yeah, no. So it's gonna be hard on the next attack because they just won against the other attack that I did to them. I might not be able to kill them. But we got the Great Builder, so that's all we need. We'll go over to the city, and then over here, Trade Fair is going to be built. Let's try to double build. Can we double build? Granary next turn. Can we not double build? Can we not double build? I just want to double build. Let's see if we can sell something to them. I want to try to double build. Double build, double build, double build. Uh, can we double build now? No. I want to double build. I seriously want to double build. I cannot double build because I don't. Can we sell to Gandhi? Can I double build? I cannot double build. What's up with that? Do I have somebody I can sell? I'm going to go through the whole list. Sell every little extra troop we got. Try to go for a I cannot get a double build. I don't like that. Can't. Mm. Nope. Alright, well, I guess we're not double building. Internet. Oof. Tray fair is good, but the internet's even harder to build. So, actually, that doubles, or was it triple? It's either double or triple is your gold. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. So you can see how a trade fair is nothing compared to the economy double. Now if I build a trade fair, oh, you better look out. And I forgot I have this conversion guy. Mm, we'll wait on that. I don't really want to take that that bad. It looks like we're not taking Beijing. What I'll do is probably pull my troops out next turn and not worry about Beijing and I'll go for somebody else. A little smaller city and leave Beijing alone. Because I don't want to lose my great general. That'll be great. Yeah, he's going to talk crap now. He's like, oh, okay. I'll just repeat your truth. You don't talk crap. It's like, don't talk crap until you talk crap. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> that didn't make sense. What is that? Don't talk crap until you talk crap. <laughs> Didn't he just talk crap? But, um, let's see if we can find a city with a heal that they have. Nope. Ugh. Well, we'll do plan B. We'll go after the little small cities and expand our gold markets and stuff. So let's go ahead and try to really produce some money. Trade fair is what we're going to save up for, so let's not really spend anything. Oh my god. I thought we were at peace with the Arabs. Alright, so it's not looking well at all. What shall we build? Um, Shakespeare Theater, complete next turn. Um, I cannot heal him apparently. Oh, it's because I'm on the spot heal unit. <laughs> wow, that's funny. I'll at least put I can at least put them down and defend both of them. The bank. At this point, you can see where the domination and money is about to really be shown. Like. This is going to be insane how they get dominated. We're going to really pump out some gold, and once we get that trade fair, it's over. I don't believe we're at war with that Civ, but I feel like they're about to attack pretty heavily. Hey, look at that, I got the culture bonus. Um, Mass media. We're not making any science, as you can tell. I, I, I absolutely stopped science. Science is not even... A main concern. I mean, I can go for the East India Company if I want to, but I'm kind of trying to, you know, boost everything else. And I'm not going to waste any gold because I want the trade fair first. And I feel like the Arabs are about to attack me. I might be wrong, but I think they're going to attack me with that army they're amassing over there. Um, Let's build some riflemen. Try to defend this place ASAP. Uh... 
just trying to see how we can go about this because you see how in a goal style victory like you can really just jump up if you want to but now 360 here plus a trade fair let's see what happens on 1400 total I want to see what happens there 576 so it jumped up pretty nicely not not insanely but 720 once we got that courthouse there you go so there you go you can see how we just instantly just dominated over there in one city that's 760 that's 1800 we went up a total 400 per turn every you know every turn so it's pretty beautiful let's try this uh city right here they might oh it's 38 let's see if we can win this i'm gonna let them fight until they die Oh, no, they're going to lose that. They're going to lose that. So this Civ is... I mean, this troop is not killing anything. I'm just going to bring him back. Just for now, until I get tanks. The Chinese are the next best um, people in the game. That's why. So I'm not really going to mess with the Chinese, because I'm not trying to fight them. Magna Carta's being built. What I'll do is... I'll start building stuff like this. A temple. Let's build cathedrals. Temples and cathedrals everywhere. Like, this is the point where you want to actually boost up your culture. So, temples and cathedrals in every single city that can build one. I'm not even going to build a bank there. Just because this is going to eat me up if I don't do that. If I don't actually start making some some stuff here. Next, a temple here. Alright, so here we go. We're going to increase our culture so we can stop being hammered with their culture and try to convert more cities. And we'll use a city to really have some culture. Um, East India Company, just because I want to make some more science in that city. Mm, temple. Now you can see how I easily pushed them back. Like the moment I started building all this stuff, it's that simple to. When you make a gold victory, well, when you go for gold, it's that simple to overtake all the other players in the game in culture. That's what I usually do when I play with my friends and they're just beating my ass in freaking culture. I'm like, okay. I know what I'm going to do. I'll just do that right there. So now we got Queen Day pushing it back. Everybody like it's nothing. Um, keep instant building wonders because wonders bring up your culture as well. I believe I saw a great culture flip. I'm not going to flip that city just because I know that I can flip it naturally. Like I just, All I got to do is keep this up. Just keep building stuff like this. Courthouses and courthouses actually bring up my culture too. I forgot about that. Um, so we're looking really good. A courthouse can be built here too, so. Trading post, that'd be nice. Alright, so we're doing really good here. Coach is gonna, it's gonna skyrocket. We can build a United Nations, it says. If we're not trying to win that way, we want a gold victory. I think it said, or no, it didn't say we could build that. I don't know what it said, honestly, to be truthful with you. Not paying much attention to it. Ah, I hit trophy room. Can't stand a trophy room. So this might be a two-hour play. I think this is going to be like a two-hour play, but that's not bad. So we got a great scientist. We need tanks. Believe it or not, we need tanks. So we're going to take this. We could settle them here because I didn't have a chance to make a settler. We'll settle a great scientist here, increase my thing. But we want to get tanks, so... We're pumping out enough that we don't really have to worry too much, and we'll get that in no time. Yeah, like I said, increasing the culture. We'll keep that up. Straight up, every every city, culture, courthouse, culture, courthouse. Now, if you're wondering why I'm saying courthouses are bringing up my culture, it's because I actually built a Magna Carta, which makes courthouses give culture. So the more courthouses you have, the more culture you'll get from your city. So not only cathedrals and temples, but actually courthouses, too, will increase my, um, my stuff here. Let's see if we can get the Chinese peace, because I don't want to fight them now. Mm, we're not going to give you that much money for peace. <laughs> Screw all that noise. Um, just give me a knight. Give me some roads. We're going to like just connect this place to all the places, so I can just figure out where I'm going to send troops in from. I'll send some troops in from here. Then a courthouse. Cause I need an army. <laughs> and one from here. It won't be a veteran army, but 
I just need an army to see if I can take him out really quick, or at least hurt him. I probably won't. I don't know if it'll take him out. It should take him out. The knights don't have defense. I'm coming to the conclusion that the Egyptian knights suck. I'm just going to come to that conclusion. Like, I don't think their knights are good. So I'm trying to go for tanks. I just want to kind of push them off of me, because... And sometimes... If you're, definitely actually not sometimes if you're playing deity you're gonna have to go for war a little bit even if you're going for a gold victory unless you really just know what you're doing because I, I can I can guarantee you right now I'm I'm decent with gold I'm not OP with gold I'm not OP in anything I'm just I, I say I'll play average I always tell people and they're like you're bullcrap I'm like nope I play averages I'm there's pretty there's, there's a lot of people in the world that play this game that could easily dominate me like like a a school kid I don't know so you know it's like mm, I can play but I can't play as beast as I I would want to play I think people play there's some people that can play better than me a lot of people that can play better than me so I'm glad the way I play but some people I can't hold a torch to <laughs> as, let me just put it that way I'm pretty sure a lot of people could have won a gold victory the way, with my start, the way I was going. They could have probably really capitalized on this and managed things better. But I, I've been everywhere with everything, so we're gonna want some spies here and industrial. Don't take a minute to build. I'm trying to get a flip, a culture flip, so I can just like flip the Chinese city, which I think I can now. Now I can go ahead and build combustion. Awesome, awesome. Our cities are flourishing. Okay, okay. So we're going to go ahead and start taking cities like this. We'll get another one next turn. Let's insta build here. That'll be done in no time. Then, of course, complete the study of combustion. And then next turn, we'll build a, um, we'll build a, what you call it? Uh, military industrial. Which, honestly, not military industrial, but um, whatever the thing is called, that, can, that makes all your troops uh, upgraded. Can't think of the name right now. I seriously can't think of the name. Um, mm. it's right here. Uh, Leonardo Workshop. We'll build, we'll build one of those. And of course, we're gonna try to get that great scientist and get modern infantry. Oh, they're coming at us. Come on, show me your strength. They suck so bad. Are they going to win? Nope, they still suck. They don't get any victories, good or bad. They won't get them. Alright, so we're going to try to really fast, fastly get this. Build a bank? Nah. Workshop. So we'll have a workshop by next turn. Spy ring, of course. So here's how this is going to work. Try to get this person. Hopefully we'll get it. Yes, we got it. Cool. So I'm going to go in there and steal the uh, great scientist and then instant build the um, mass reduction. So you can see how spies are really keeping me in the science game. I'm not really trying to make science myself. I haven't really been making science at all. To get my attacks troops, I've been doing it this way. So next turn, all my troops will go up to a better type of troop. I would just add him, but like I told you... You never want to settle. You want to bring him to your cities and get more out your money. Like, let's see how this works. In this city, it's 348, right? Settle. How much you go up by? 522. So that's a really good, nice boost. We're getting 3,000 per turn. So it's a little bit. It's not much, but it's better than nothing, you know. So we're doing decent. I, I mean, I could have. The reason I said a little bit is because we could have did so much better. We could have did so much better, but I I just didn't do it right. I didn't play this game right. We've got some tanks. Wow. <laughs> wow. That, you don't see that every day. You don't, I, you really don't see that every day. Oh my god, I can't believe that one just happened. Let's try that again. No way you can do it two times in a row. Alright, cool. So next turn, we'll try to hammer their main city. Well, that little mini city over here with our great general, whatever. Well, Oh, did I build a Leonardo workshop? I think I did. Hopefully I did. I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, mass media. Yes, I did. Cool. I did. I did. I did. I did. 
all right all right all right so we pretty much got almost everything that we could build the city's maxed out so i'm just gonna pump out tanks just because i'm gonna wipe out anybody who opposes us really i'm not gonna lie most people probably would have went for a domination victory the go victories are fun but when you have a go victory you could just win the easiest way possible like this i'll just leave my troop there you can see 3,000 gold per turn after i take these cities it'll really help out 76 to 46 if they win this oh my god there we go now we can easily take that city out with their great general all right so trading posts just increase our gold because you want to kind of even when you're making this much gold you want to still increase your gold you want your gold to keep going up you don't want it to stop going up so stuff like that will increase your gold so anything that will increase it just keep building it anything that will help your gold like this even a little 20 here and 20 there or another trading post like there's probably like another 20 that, that didn't even go up at all but hey still build it reason being harbors will also like i said that's indirect stuff that will actually instant build for some reason oh yeah because it went to the science see so not instant build but it instant helped i mean so when you build harbors, your automatic will change over to the C spots. I forgot about that. So that's a little nice little feature. So you can see right now, guys, we have this game under wraps already. This game could be won any way we want. You know, that's my way of playing to be able to choose the way I want to win. But of course, like I said, since we're going for a goal style victory, I'm going to try to finish this up before we hit two hours. I don't want to hit two hours. I really don't. I would rather not hit two hours, you know. That's why I didn't put the first part in here. I just like, you know, skimmed through it. So I'm gonna probably just skip through this and just take over their city. Let's see, what am I building here? Just building tanks, right? Yeah. Let's keep going with tanks. After we take that little mini city. Honestly, I might go ahead and amass an army after we take this mini city and go back to the main city. So that we can just convert the rest of them and knock them out. Because they'll, they'll give me peace after a while. If I keep hammering them like this, they'll give me peace before I get to their main city. Which I don't want him to do that. I want him to keep attacking. You know, what he want well make me want to attack him more or something. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm getting tired. It's, it's kind of late here. So what we're gonna do is amass some armies, some nice tank armies, and send them to the Chinese capital before we take the other city. The World Bank is about to be built soon. We're doing well. We're like pretty much owning the game now. Another another gold person. That's so nice. Um, the barracks is already gonna be built. And let's make another army. We got a gold person. We can move to any city we want to. And like I said, all my cities are gold cities, so I really don't even care where it goes to be honest with you. But I will show you what you'll get. Two seventy six to. If they let me go back. It was 276 at that city, and now it is 414. So you can see the advantage right there in settling. You're great, right, people. 11 attack. We might be able to attack it with riflemen here now. Well, we got the other people now. Let me keep that train of thought. I said with the riflemen. Yep. 20 attack with a great general. See, when you have a great general, you can use your weak, weak troops after a while to like really clear a city faster. All right, so we got that, and this is what I said: you can increase your gold by expanding your stuff. So look, 50 gold from here, build a market. It's gonna go up to about 150 or something like that, and it's gonna keep going up. And if I don't build anything by two turns, I'll be able to build it. So I'm not gonna build anything, so we can go ahead and win this game. And I got a nice production city. Also, with your super city, which my super city is kind of not a super city; it's just a really good city. But when you have a nice super city, you, that usually is your um, main production city, which this is my... It's usually your science city. Your science city is your super city, which is usually your main production city, if you get what I mean by that. <laughs> so as you could tell, if you... As you can tell, like, my city over here is pumping out a lot of productions. I think it was 70-something. Because, I'm like, it's by some mountains. I wasn't accounting for the mountains. If you were thinking, like, okay, he was thinking mountains and hills and all that. No, I wasn't accounting for all that crap. All I wanted was the science. Once I saw science, I just, you know, hope for the best. 
but usually when you have a super city you you experience that a lot i think they're gonna kill my troop here come yeah i could have retreated you could tell when they're gonna kill your troops sometimes so if you want to retreat you can like when they push in on your second one with tanks you can hit b really fast but honestly to me right now it doesn't even matter but that's if you really want to i don't really want to i just want to go ahead and end this game now we have a great scientist i don't even care what it builds at this point complete the study of steel Mm, I could have built flight, but ugh. we're about to build a bank next turn anyway. We'll have him attack. See, they can't keep this up. There's no way they can keep defending this. But the turn after next, they're going to be gone. And they'll be surrendering. So that's what we want. We want them to surrender so that we don't have to worry about them. When we build a world bank, we don't want them to have any forces to really attack us with. I guess globalization, that is another goal thing. You get 500 gold from getting it first, but honestly, like I said, at this point, <laughs> if you want more gold, you can. The reason I said this isn't so good, because normally you could be doing like, um, you could be doing like, let's see, 8,000 gold at this point, 8,000 to 10,000. I've, I've done it before when I got a better start. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it all depends on how you play. But, like I said, I like how I, at least how I did it a little bit. I'm going to put my great journal here. We're going to go ahead and wipe them out really fast and start on the world bank. And I'll go ahead and skip through. So you guys can see already how a gold style victory, if you play it right, is dominant as crap. Um, it's not much I really can say. Like, it, like I said in the beginning, I put the tips in the first video so you guys can refer back to the tips because, well, not the tips, but like the everything that will help you gold wise and how you could do it yourselves and all that good stuff. Just because I knew I wouldn't really be able to explain it well and play at the same time, so I just did it all in one video. Now I'm just, you know, putting it all together so you guys can see what I was telling you about all the indirects and directs, how it works, how it can be beneficial. We're getting 84 plus from the city, not even on production. 104 plus from production. This is our not super city, but it was it could have been a super city if we did it right. But you know, oh well. We'll get in five turns. If you really wanted to up your stuff, you could try to find some more trees around here. Be like, okay, let's see how many trees I can get. And you'd be like, all right, let me take everything off. That's not production. It's still 102 either way, I think. Yeah. So, you know, it's actually less. I don't know where I was missing one at, but. I don't know. But anyway, 104 is five turns. I'm going to skip through the five turns. See if we can get a piece. No, they're not going to take it. They're not going to take a piece. Once we start building the bank, they'll try to, everybody's going to try to kill us. Honestly, what you could do at this point, if you really wanted to like speed up your process to win by gold, switch all your cities you don't really care about to gold production. And that really helps out, as you can tell. My gold is really going up for all my cities by like 100 to 200, depending on what city it is. Build a market there. And then I can build a bank here. Like, let's say you weren't there and you wanted to try to get there faster. And you know that they're catching on you or something like that. I don't know. Whatever the reason is. But you do something like this and make all of them, all of your cities, gold, and boom. You jumped up to like 5,000. So. That's pretty nice, but I'm going to go ahead and skip through, win the game, while they attack me and annoy the crap out of me. I, like, like I said, DT after a while gets boring. It gets boring, but I want to try to upload some online gameplays, because I've been playing a few online games. I play once in a while. I don't really play online often. I really don't, believe it or not. I get on here, play DT, win, and then get off. Let's go ahead and take them just for good sport. <laughs> not technically good sport, but you know, just because I want to. And that's how you really expand your cities. For gold, you just, I mean, well, expand your gold, you just expand your cities. We've got two turns left. Two turns. It's a long victory. We got We could have won sooner, honestly, if we went straight for domination rather than going for gold. Like, we use gold to go for domination. That's a little better tactic for me. Because I can't really keep up the, the uh, increase in gold. I can have, like, this amazing industrial gold output. So everybody's like, holy crap, how are you getting that much in industrial? I'm like, yeah, because I'm... I'm just going for gold and then by modern it's like okay I slack off and everybody starts catching up so my little trick is I go for gold from the beginning 
get to around the industrial where I'm pumping out a lot more than everybody else. My tech has skyrocketed because you saw at one point I was at like 20 some tech and everybody's at like 12 or whatever. So you go then and then you just switch off the domination and take everybody out before they have pikemen or whatever. Go straight for knights and boom. After you get industrialization or something like that. So I don't know what happened. What a game pass. Huh. Did I win? I'm confused. What just happened? It's like the game I won, but I didn't win. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Did I win? I built the World Bank. I believe my game just... Or did I not look at the victory thing? I don't think I looked at the victory thing. I don't know. But we won again. Another deity victory. So, Do you guys have any questions about how you know I went about this gold uh, victory or whatever? You know, like always... Leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you when I see questions. And if you like the video, always, like I say, leave it a like. I like seeing likes. If I see likes, I'm like, okay, that's a good video. Video. Let me try to do something better like that. And, you know, that's pretty much it. If you have any requests, leave them down there as well. I'll try to get back to you with that or try to make another one. And there's not much more I could say. I hope you guys enjoyed the Gold Style victory. And, hmm. I was rambling, honestly, to be truthful with you. I, just, I, like, I like rambling sometimes, as you notice. But, yeah, like that's pretty much it for the gold victory. Economic style, Gundam style, economic, I don't know. Leave a like. I said leave a like. I'm tired as crap. <laughs> this is Chris from Tryhard Infinity signing out.